Hey everybody, it's Brooks here, Senior Pastor, First Baptist Church of the Islands. Hope you're having a great day today. Thank you for joining me for today's Five for Five. So I want to take a moment to speak with you about something that comes really right out of the Bible, uh, and that's the topic of community. You know, all of us are created in a way where we are in need of community, whether we realize that or not. Now, we may sometimes have moments where we want to be alone or where we don't really want to be around a lot of other people. Maybe you're more of an introvert rather than an extrovert. That's perfectly fine, obviously. But, you know, at the end of the day, we all need interaction with other people. And especially if you are a follower of Jesus, you need community with other believers. I, I want to mention a passage of Scripture here in just a moment, but I also want to speak today from a very practical sense. And Here's what I often see. I've been involved in ministry for a long time, been in our church for, uh, for a long time as well. And what I have, have seen through the years is that obviously we have more people who attend our worship services than we do our small groups, than we do our grow groups or Bible studies. And uh, I think one of the issues that goes along with that is that whenever we attend worship, and that is a great step, obviously, we, we love to see growth in that area. But when a person's not engaged in a small group community, in a Bible study, or for us, a grow group community, what happens is, is that the church never really grows small for them. They're, they're, they're ten, they have a tendency to get lost in a sea of people. And whenever there's a need in their life, whenever they need prayer support, whenever they look for a way to try to serve somebody else, there's it's hard to find an opportunity. But I mean, what we've seen with people in our church really through the years is, is that when somebody is in a small group, when they're in a grow group, that need for community is often met. They have a group of people who love them, of people who are praying for them, kind of go to people that they can call when there's a need. But at the same time, they're iron sharpening iron, as Proverbs tells us. They're able to grow together in the word. They're able to grow together in their faith, to mature together and uh, and to enjoy the benefits of relationship as well, to just have fun together and do life together. You know, at our church, the primary way that we try to foster community is not in our worship services, but ultimately through our grow groups. And, and I really want to encourage you that if you are uh, not a part of a grow group at our church and, and you, you attend First Baptist of the Islands, and really consider being a part of that grow group community because you need that. But Scripture also speaks of it. The Apostle John Towards the, uh, towards the end of the New Testament, he's writing in 1 John. This is the same uh, John as, as uh, wrote the Gospels, right? One of the disciples of Jesus. And he says in 1 John chapter 1, uh, verse 3, he says, What we have seen and heard, we also declare to you, so that you may also have fellowship with us. And indeed, our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus. You know, the picture there of Scripture is not just fellowship with God through a relationship with Jesus. That, that is obviously important. That's where eternal life is. But what John says there is that he wanted fellowship together with other believers. And that is that has to be a priority. You know, I hope for you, you'll consider uh, taking that step to find real community in our church. If you're outside of our church, to find real community with other believers because you need it. It's a necessity. It's the way you've been wired. And, and when you were saved, it's what God desires for you as well. You know, I hope you have a great day today. And uh, I hope you can pass along this video to someone that maybe can benefit from it. And uh, I'm out here on a windy day about to get blown away. So I'm going to sign off. But I hope you have an awesome day. Tune in tomorrow for tomorrow's 5 for 5 on Tuesday with uh, Jason. Take care. Have an awesome day.